Okay, so we had a freezer emergency, and I mean emergency. We had our propane stove installed, and the handyman unplugged our freezer and didn't plug it back in. We, due diligence, we didn't know until two days later. We lost, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars worth of food. Yeah. But we saved over a grand's worth of food. So this was one way of saving it. Remember all those turkey bags I got? I had to, th I saved one bag. Um, it's still in another deep freeze until this one got, you know, cold again. And the other one is over here. This is my second roaster. It also has five turkey backs in here. Nothing else. I didn't have time to put any vegetables or onions or nothing. It's just turkeys and water. That's it. So I'm going to be putting these up today. I don't want a lot. I'm not going to. I'm going to do one of them as a broth. And the other one I'm going to. I'm going to sit through. Strain it. Let it cool. I'm going to pick up. There's a lot of meat. Um, I only did a two day roast with these day and night. I have other projects I need this for. This was un, uh, unexpected. So I'm going to do one as a broth. I'm going to do one. We're going to pick it all apart and we're going to make it like a turkey stew or turkey and dumplings. We'll see. But without the dumplings, they would be added later. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, hands are clean. What I'm doing is we had a repairman come in to install our furnace and our stove. It was done on different days. When he did our stove, um, he unplugged our freezer. And it's our big chest freezer, like our deep freeze. So we don't use that for every day. So I didn't even think to check it and I hadn't been into it in two days. And then when I did go in, I was like, why does this stuff look like this we lost quite a well a couple hundred dollars of food which was bad enough um thankfully we were able to save thousands so hey eh? yep goodness me now you guys remember when if you're following along you remember when we were gifted um the turkey backs and i had three bags with five backs in each bag well I saved them. Uh, two of them were thawed. And I thought, okay, well, they weren't, they still had ice crystals, so they're still good, right? They just were thawed. And I'm going to steal from Peter to pay Paul here. Uh, so what we did was we started those. So we had 10, 10 turkey backs. And with those 10 turkey backs, I got my two electric roasters out for two days and two nights. I didn't have time to put onion skins or anything like we were jockeying food from one freezer to a next and so I just threw water on them right well water and roasted them um, and we got this so this is the meat I got from the 10 backs that was left I was just gonna nice. do broth and I thought you know what we don't we don't need I do I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't need turkey broth. <laughs> but we need turkey soups. This is such a nice comfort food. Um, Look at that. That's it nice. can be, it's a soup. I can thicken it and turn it into a stew. Maybe add some more stuff to it. Or I could make turkey and dumplings. Yeah. Or it does just so much, so much we can do with this, guys. So what good. I've got is I've got my raw potato cut up into bite-sized pieces. Um, I left them chunky in case we do go with a stew. And then we have our, our bits of meat in there. And then we have our vegetable. Um, I was going to put onion in there too, but I don't know if the little guys are going to be here and have onion. They don't, they don't want onion. Um, what about onion soup mix? I don't want to do that. Okay. I really don't want to do that. Right. The, the, the broth that we're using is just to taste it off a spoon. It's like one little sip is like Thanksgiving. It's just so flavorful. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to leave it basic. Um, 
when you're not feeling well, this is going to be like in this in the winter. If you're not feeling well, this is just like that. Yeah, cat. exactly. Yeah. It's beautiful, and it's nice to have. And being in a quart, that means four cups, so two cups each, right? I'm not I mean, feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that too bad? I want to get these done up. So I'm just <laughs> gonna. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get the broth, and we're gonna get these canned up. Okay, so I didn't bore you with straining the broth off on those two roasters. And then I sat down and picked the meat off the bone, discarded the bone, restrained, and this is what I've got from the two. So what I've done is I've added um, in Holland, it's, uh, I won't say it right, why do I pretend, Machi, or Maggi. Um, it's actually from a plant by the name of Lovage. So I have quite a bit of that in here. That's what you'll be seeing. Um, I do also, I don't have celery, and I'm not sending Andy all the way to the store. i got to dehydrate more. I'm out. Uh, I ground up too much of it for powders. So I did add some dried celery leaf. I also added some, uh, where is it, some garlic, some onion seasoning, some thyme, some rosemary. I've got a few bay leaves in there. I'll pull those out before we jar it up. And like I said, the lovage and the celery. Uh, we have parsley, salt and pepper. So I'm going to go off now and I'm going to cut onion, carrot, I wished I had celery, but, and we got the meat, and we're going to just make emergency turkey soup, guys, and it's going to be so nice for the winter. Look at this broth. All those herbs. Oh, yeah. Nice. And even though we don't have celery, because I put in a lot of the dehydrated celery leaf into the broth, I already chucked the bay leaves out, by the way, guys. Um, this is going to be so tasty. And it's low sodium. I didn't put salt in. We will be able to determine by what we're using it for, how much salt, if any, that we want. It tastes so good, guys. Have you sampled it yet? No, not yet. Oh. I will. I know you will. It's so good. So the reason I wanted to bring his along is freezer interruption. Had we not caught it when we did, it could have cost us easy $2,500. And I mean, that's just a small freezer. It's not a big chest freezer. It's a small one. So if I wouldn't have had the jars handy or on hand, I would have been very limited as to what I could save and what I was not going to be able to save. It was nice to have the jars on hand and have the capabilities of putting the food up, you know? Like, Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful stew. Isn't that nice? That's gorgeous. Yep. Oh, I love it. And I like everything we had here. Oh, I did add peas, by the way, because my British Canadian husband informed me it's not proper without peas. That's right. So we added peas. I sent him into the wilds to pick me fresh peas out of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> the other freezer, not the dead one. <laughs> but what would happen in a... Outage? Yeah, like are you ready to get your food out of the freezer and... Can it. Can it, if that happens, because it's quite realistically going to happen where the hydro goes out. Yep. We call it hydro, you call it electric, I think. I keep every time I say hydro and don't specify, there's a comment. What is a hydro? So I thought I'd better mention the electric. Mm -hmm. It can happen so easily, guys, and that was two days. You know, like I'm not gonna be able to fill all these jars with that broth. No. No, I'm gonna have way too much. Oh broth, you broth. mean yes, yes. Yeah. So I see. What I'm going to do is actually redo these. What? Got to redo them. Oh, you forgot to bubble? I forgot. And she there's forgot. Solids in here. 
so let's not be stupid, Peggy. Yeah. Oh, they look so good. Aren't they? That one might need a little bit more, don't you think? No. No? Okay. No, I want it to the edge. Okay. Oh, these are going to taste so Oh, I can good. smell it. It's just driving me nuts. It smells <laughs> like a turkey dinner. It is, mm. isn't yeah. it? Oh, Don't forget to bubble it. You should have tasted it, baby. <laughs> I know. It was amazing. And there's lovage in here. And there's the dehydrated celery. And thyme. Lots of thyme. Lots of thyme. But I'll tell you, it was a great peace of mind for me to know. Like, Andy was a little bit freaked out. I was calmer because I thought, anything that's salvageable, I can put it up. I can save it. So, I mean, it was still upsetting that we lost a couple hundred dollars worth. There it is. But <laughs> better that than a couple thousand. Yep. Thank goodness. And had it been extreme where we wouldn't have had the other facilities to put it in, the other freezers, I've got three canners here and I would have just went crazy. I have, um, I don't have enough quart jars for what I want. I have to go hunting for more. But I have enough pints, I could have done it all. I could have yeah. done the whole freezer and some. So... That's what scares me about freezers. I mean, they're great to have, but that power goes out, there's a lot of money lost, a lot of food lost. Yeah. You know, and then you got to go try to make that all back up again. Hey, well, and in the winter time, it's not that big a deal because we can just put our food outside. Yep. But it's not <clears throat> quite that yet, and we're yeah. having... Well, this was human error, right? Yep. But it could very well have been not human error. And that's why I wanted everybody to be aware. And look at that. I know, it's just beautiful. Uh, wow. Now, these have meat. I am going to process them at being a quart at the 90 minutes. Yep. It better um, be safe. With the soup, I believe you could do it a little less. But I just, I when, when there's meat, I, I always can with the, yep. the highest requirement and that's the meat so that's 90. I think this is the best thing to, to, to can really because when you're you know and the, the, this you know you need food you need something quick those are the best they, like you can make so much just pour that in a pot adds a little bit of flour to it make it a stew and put yeah. some dumplings in it oh yeah there's so much or just have it for lunch or soup just heat meat yeah, uh, when meal. you're outside snow blowing and you're cold, and yeah. you come in. This is the perfect jar to crack open, yep. right? Yes, you're right. So, 90 minutes in the pressure canner. You know that we start it medium heat till it reaches the pressure, and then you're going to let it steam, steady stream of steam for. 10 minutes before you even introduce your weight or jiggler or whatever it is you're using. Right. And when the 90 minutes is done, I'm going to bring you back. I wasn't bringing you in so much for the, um, the canning process as I was for the scenario. I mean, it could have been really bad. And, yep. and it was, you know, like I still, I'm still mourning. I lost my feet. I lost my turkey feet. It was questionable. They didn't have cr ice crystals on them anymore. They were soft. They were they were cool, but they didn't have any ice crystals. And I just I you don't, don't take chances with that I kind don't. of stuff. If, no. if if it's thawed in the freezer and it still has ice crystals, I will proceed to can it or do something with it. Um, I won't refreeze it. I'll process it. The stuff on the very bottom of the freezer was still frozen solid, so that was a save, right? Yeah. But, guys, make sure you have extra jars. Make sure you have a canner on hand. Finger tight. We just saved a lot of money by having the canner on hand and, yeah. the, and the jars. Right. And now I'm not going to be making more soup. This is going to be a full canner. So for today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the back fridge, the broth. 
and tomorrow I will can it as a soup starter broth because I've got all the herbs and everything in there. It's just, oh my goodness. It's all goodness. Yes. <laughs> it is. It doesn't get better than this. If you look at the label on Campbell's Soup, check the sodium, guys. Like it's... You know what? People think I'm crazy, but when Andy Andy likes his Campbell's soup, his tomato, tomato, and when it goes on sale, he buys it. But I can smell, when he opens that can, I can smell the sodium. I can smell it. Taste it. And I'm not just, supposed to have that. No. But even just to taste it, it's just, uh, I, yeah. I don't like it. So... I'm gonna so make me some homemade tomato soup, woman. <laughs> we could. I still have um, a box full of tomatoes. A box of tomatoes in the freezer. We saved those. They were yeah. in the bottom, underneath some pretty expensive meat. We were oh, we were so lucky, Andy. Yeah. We were so lucky. I was getting mad at the you know about the servicemen doing that and everything, but my freezer, personal responsibility. I should have checked it. I should have. I should have checked. Well, we didn't even notice it was unplugged. No, but I should have checked. Until two days later. <laughs> there was a serviceman in the house yeah. right there. I should have checked. So I can't fault him. No. It's my own fault that I didn't double check it, right? Okay, so I got seven quarts. So that's seven beautiful turkey soups. That is. That looks good, man. Wow. And I used the last of the carrots that we had in the crisper. Mm -hmm. Um. The last bag of peas that I had in the freezer, and certainly not the last of the potatoes. Oh, we got lots of more potatoes to do. So I'm going to process these for the 90 minutes, and when it's all done and they're coming out to look beautiful in the jar, I'll let you have a look at our freezer rescue turkey soup. Look at that. Rescued from a thawed freezer. <laughs> there you go so we've got look at it isn't that pretty just beautiful so we've got what seven quarts well, yep six seven yep and tomorrow I'm gonna do up some more look at that bubbling I know we just took some chicken just beautiful. out of the freezer to use for making a chicken broth yeah a chicken chicken turkey soup chicken turkey soup yes but we're putting chickens in it <laughs> okay but I mean, otherwise, what are we going to do? Uh, we don't want to broth, uh, you know, can the broth, right? Well, I do. We've, got, a, got, we've got all kinds of broth, <laughs> that's for sure. So let's, let's put some soup. more chicken in it, and we make some beautiful. <laughs> and we make some beautiful stew. What was this in front of your mouth? <laughs> well, I was laughing. I'm sorry. Why? Uh, what did you do, I Andy? Said <laughs> I, I said a bad word. I said a bad word. <laughs> anyway, look at Okay, if you like this uh, video, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you, what, what you think we should add to this, which would be great. And, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Catch we'll you tomorrow. We'll see you in the next video.